in two previous videos I have shown you uh, what you do if you have uncertainties uh, in measurements and then have to do some calculations based on those measurements. Uh, there is a video uh, what you do if you have addition and subtraction and another one what you do if you have multiplication and division. The links of those videos should be somewhere below in the description. Now the question however is what do you do if it gets more complicated? What do I mean by more complicated? For example, if you have a vector of length a at an angle theta and your length of the vector has an uncertainty as well as the angle. And what you want to do is figure out uh, the y component of the vector. So a y, of course, is a times sine of the angle. So I have multiplication, but on top of that, I have the sine operation. So what do we do? We use the min-max method. The min-max method, you already know it uh, from estimating uncertainties, where we used it. Uh, also, the link to that video should be somewhere below in the description. We take the best possible value. To that, we add and subtract the uncertainty of the maximum possible outcome minus the minimum possible outcome divided by 2. So in my case, my ay best is simply 5 newtons times sine of 30 degrees. I just realized there was a mistake here. Of course, the angle is measured in degrees and not in newtons, which gives me 2.5 Newtons. So I know the y uh, component, the best case is 2.5 Newton. Now the main question is plus minus how much? So what do I do? I look at all possible combinations. So in my case, what is the biggest angle? What is the smallest angle? What is the biggest amplitude? And what is the smallest amplitude? And then I make a little square here and I write my highest angle, that was 40 degrees. My lowest angle, 30 minus 10, is 20 degrees. My biggest amplitude, 5 plus 1, is 6 newtons. My smallest uh, amplitude is 5, is 4 newtons. And then I'm calculating all possible combinations of this. So in this field, I'm doing 6 newtons times sine of 40. In this field, I'm doing 6 newtons times sine of 20. Here I will do 4 newtons times sine of 40. And here I will do 4 newtons times sine of 20. So let's calculate this. First, I'm lazy, so I'm doing this with Excel. So I had for 4 newtons, and this I had a, a, a maximum possible outcome of 3.9. And for my smallest angle, I had 2.1. For this one here, I got 2.6. And over here, 1.4. So now what? Once I've done this, I'll have to look this in my values, which one is my highest, which is this in this case, and which one is my smallest, which is this in this case, and plug it in here. So I have plus minus uh, 3.9 minus 1.4 uh, divided by 2. Now if I calculate this, this gave me 1.2. Newtons. So, as those of you that have watched many of my videos yet, I like to round this to one significant figure. So, I'm going to report this with one significant figure, one Newton of uncertainty, and my y component rounded so that I only have one estimated digit uh, is 3 Newtons plus minus. 1 newton and this is my final answer.